I am down in Fermanagh today on the shores of Loch Erin and we are um, just tight for time and this boat hasn't been completely prepped for sale yet. It's still due a bit of valet and, and detailing but I just wanted to take the opportunity while we're here to give you a quick preview tour of the boat. So it's a Regal 3560, it's 38 foot long. Um, it's a 2004 boat. It's fitted with a pair of Volvo Penta Cat 32, 285 horsepower diesel stern drives and um, it's got a great spec on it. There's lots of equipment on this boat, uh, including the generator, bow thruster, ray, full suite of Raymarine electronics, um, extended hood platform, flexi-teak decks, solid wood floors in the cabin, two cabins set up that'll sleep six people downstairs, and um, just a nice example of a 35-foot sports cruiser. The hull needs a bit of a polish, um, and it's, it's, it's due to get a full interior valet in detail but it's a very straight boat there's very few marks on the hull nice red boot stripe on it anti-foiled in black beautiful stainless steel rub rail and bow rails nice radar arch and a very good set of camper covers on it as well had lots of recent upgrades regularly maintained it's just been serviced as well ready for launch for the 2023 season so i'm just this is just a quick preview tour to give you an idea what the boat looks like at the moment and um, we will be coming back once the, once the cleaning and detailing is done to do a more in-depth review if the boat hasn't sold in between times. Nice big swim platform, stern, probably three feet deep. The full width of the boat makes boarding a breeze. You've got uh, dinghy davits here and a nice stainless steel handrail across the stern as well. Easy walk through into the cockpit. And again, please just ignore the... Lift this down, stop it flapping in the wind. The boat does need a good clean, um, but you can tell, you know, on the underlying condition is lovely. We've got a nice layout, we've got this lovely crescent shaped seating area up forward around this big table. We have an excellent convertible seat aft at the aft end of the cockpit. This folds flat into a sun lounger as well. You lift that up, fold it flat. You can sit then on the swim platform. Um, Nice pinstripe upholstery back here and leather up forward. Huge bit of deck space, engine access in there. I'll take a quick look in there in a wee minute. And tons of storage all the way around the boat. Storage locker, storage locker, storage under the seats. Beautiful cockpit wet bar here with a little um, barbecue grill thing. This boat has a onboard generator. So you can run all this stuff whenever you're out on the water. Cockpit fridge, as well as a big fridge downstairs. Um, Arched lights, recessed lighting throughout. Tons of spec on this thing. Nice helm station with twin wide helm seat, flip up bolster. We've got all the electronics you could want, including Raymarine, big, uh, large chart, chart plotter, fish finder. There's a radar as well. Fully working suite of instruments. Around about eight or 900 hours on the clock. I'll explain in more detail in our full length view. Review, review, review sorry. A new fusion sound system installed as well, bow thruster, EDC controls on the engine, fly-by-wire throttle and shift. Um, yeah, so all the equipment you could need for uh, either inland navigation, this boat's been used inland for the last number of years, or coastal use as well. So beautiful cockpit up here. And then stepping downstairs, beautiful cabin on this boat. Two separate cabins, fore four and aft. Nice galley on the port side here with everything you'd need. Onboard generator in this boat so you can run all your appliances whenever you're out on the water. So twin ring, electric hob, microwave, big fridge here as well. Nice big fridge. The Americans do this stuff very well. You know, Regal being an American boat, all this stuff's very well thought out. Flat screen TV, nice sofa on the port side that converts into another berth beautiful varnished folding table there as well solid decks throughout as well as your flexi teak in the cockpit the aft cabin then is set up as a nice little seating area at the moment that converts into a double bed as well you've got your switch panel here for all your 240 volt and 12 volt equipment generator controls etc etc and then moving forward We've got our heads compartment, large heads compartment on the port side, and then your forward master cabin with a fixed double bed 
off the port lovely recessed indirect lighting all the way around here overhead spotlights all the lights are led huge bit of storage nice wee seat there dressing table area too and then a large heads compartment with vacuum flush toilet and enclosed shower compartment there as well screened off from the rest of the bathroom area sink and vanity the boat is powered by a pair of Volvo Penta CAD 300 engines, 285 horsepower a piece matched up to duo prop steering drives and easy access to, into the engine room from the cockpit. You can also lift the entire rear section of the cockpit with these aluminium steps to give you more, uh, you know, better access for your in-depth maintenance, but you can get in for daily checks really easily. And there's absolutely tons of equipment in here, all new batteries in the past 12 months. Fisher Panda Gen set heater on board as well, diesel heating, and all in uh, nice condition. Obviously, again, it does need a bit of a, a clean and tidy for the season ahead, but all in very good shape. The drives have just been serviced. We're still waiting on some anodes coming. Trim tab anodes have been replaced. The bellows are in good condition. All the trim rams and stuff look to be good as well. So it's, it's, I always like to get an opportunity, if you can, to get a look at these boats before they're launched. Um, the owner, I think there are, he has plans to launch it in the near future, um, but it may well sell beforehand. But yeah, so she's sitting on the hard at the minute and the drives are good. The props are all in good condition on both sides. Bellows on this side are good, trim ram seals, all the usual stuff looks to be in pretty decent order. Props are good over here as well. The prop size, just for reference, is C3. C3 rear, C3 front. So the Volvo Penta C for Charlie 3 is the size. And this side is the same. Yeah, C3 front, C3 rear. So there you go. That's how it looks below the waterline, hull bottom as well. It looks good. The water line has been freshly anti -fight. So there you go, that's the, our whistle stop tour of this Regal 3560. We will come back down in the next week or two uh, once the cleaning's been done. Hopefully we'll get here a bit early in the day. I'm just trying to squeeze this in at the end of the, the, today. So we'll come down a bit better light as well to give you a better look around this boat. But it is a lovely boat. I know there's strong demand for boats like this at the minute. There's not very many available on the market. This is a nice one. And if you want to arrange to come and see it, if you've got any questions about it, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thanks for watching. Hope you find it useful.